Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video up to this point. I want to explain some details here. As you can see for a load that is applied at the top of our bridge, the vertical member and the top cord will be in compression and the diagonal and the bottom cord will be in tension. Now after finishing the bridge, I realized that since the unbraced length of member B is longer than member A, the failure will probably happen at member B. We also know that the compressive capacity of a slender member reduces as its unbraced length increases. So I decided to reduce the unbraced length of the member B by adding some additional diagonal members. 